r slash ask reddit when your spouse leaves for a week or so what's the first thing you adjust about your house that they wouldn't tolerate live alone can confirm especially in the winter i'm pretty sure i'm just a gremlin in sweatpants have to remind myself all over again how to be a person when anyone comes to stay i moved a mattress into the living room to be by the fireplace and christmas tree my wife and i did this exact thing for the nigh weekend and it was the literal best thing we've done in quite a while we had so much fun being lazy, eating snacks, and just vegging out and cuddling for a couple of days. We both sort of mourned putting the house back together, lol. I work diligently to keep everything ticking along, laundry done, folded, and put away, food stocked, etc. But, on my own I revert to a sloppy teenager. I eat cookies for dinner, don't shower, wear jammies all day and watch trash TV. So, that. My eating habits absolutely go to hell the second she leaves. I once crushed up stale choc chip cookies and put them in milk and ate them like cookie crisp for breakfast. If the weather is nice I open all the windows. She suffers from lots of allergies. I open the windows, too, but not because he has allergies. He just has a very narrow range of temperatures where he's comfortable. I like it hotter than he does and can stand being a little cooler, especially if I'm doing stuff. My wife was out of town for work this week. I made the bed every day but didn't put any decorative pillows on the bed. That's a technical foul. Mine stay in the closet. I used to put them out when people were coming over, but no, fuck that. Unless you are me or partner you have no right coming into the bedroom. So the closet, they stay. I sleep in the middle of the bed. Unless I deep clean and want to make the bed pretty. I watch surgery shows that he can't stand, like Boshed and all those ER shows. I also do all the organization projects that are big enough that I might prefer to leave objects strewn about the floor overnight, like taking everything out of a closet or the pantry, wiping it all down, sorting, culling, and putting it back nicely. Yes. My husband doesn't embrace the idea that for deep clean and amp, tidies, things get far worse before they get better. I bring my laptop and some snacks in bed, eat, and binge watch whatever series makes me happy at the time. Oh I absolutely drink my coffee in bed when he's gone. It's the best. I worry my wife eats in the bedroom when I'm away. You have only made my suspicion worse. The sheets and towels get changed. My wife loves clean sheets and can't wait to jump into them. So when she gets home the bed will be ready. My husband does this for me it's one of those little things that really shows y'all care. Absolutely zero dateline, CSI, Walla Walla, or Law and Amp, Order, Parking Violations episodes on my TV. Even better. The TV goes off. I turn off the TV, silence my phone, stuff comes through on my watch should I need it, and enjoy the quiet. I read, clean, roam around the house, do laundry, whatever, but all in blissful QUIET. With your limbs spread out like this. Hashtag X. Nothing with spaceships, aliens, superheroes, dystopian hellscapes, or football on the big TV. Parking violations. The dishwasher. I load it how I load it. No loud size as she rearranges it. LOL. I rearrange when he's not in the kitchen and out of sight range. Nope, I will not rearrange. No sense on reworking things it just gets ran as is haha. I let my husband try his best and then when he says he can't fit the rest of the dishes in I fix it. Cook things he doesn't like. Mostly vegetarian stir fries, etc. I can't stand pineapple. When I'm gone, the first thing she cooks is some dish with pineapple good for her. All meals are eaten on the living room couch or in front of my PC and my laundry that doesn't make it into the hamper just stays on the floor. I've had the same load of laundry in the washer since yesterday morning. I've washed the clothes twice. We just call it middle bed and we each covet it. When I travel for work I get to hear about how wonderful middle bed is. Turn the ceiling fan off. That darn thing makes the room so cold every night. Can you switch the direction? Many ceiling fans have a summer and winter setting. The winter setting spins clockwise, and actually makes the room feel warmer. Switch it when they're out? I bet they won't notice. Let the kitty sleep with me in bed. What kind of monster keeps cats out of the bed? I either turn the heat up or sleep in the middle of the bed. Why not both? Turn off the television. He likes the droning in the background. I don't. Same. Mine thinks I'm weird for liking the silence. My job is loud and when he's home the house is loud. I just want a moment of peace. 
He likes everything on the kitchen counter, I like the counters clear and clean so I can cook so as soon as he takes off, it all gets put away. I watch so many bad movies, teen dramas, horror, weird art house, you name it. I still only get my half, but the cat moves into her spot. If kids are gone also, I'd probably wake up whenever I want, make breakfast and lounge around on my computer, have a glass of wine with lunch, read and take a nap, maybe try to do something active and then be on my computer until dark and then I'd check the doors and windows multiple times and freak out about being alone in the house overnight, until I finally fall asleep, after putting the baby monitor in the kitchen so if someone breaks in, I'd hear them. I'm the one who travels, and when I come home my husband has all the overhead lights on in the house like a psycho. My slippers in the bathroom. He never says anything about them, but I move them out of the way as I leave them in front of the shower or sink often, and I know they are in his way. Curtains closed. All of them. House wide man cave. Adjust the thermostat to a comfortable temperature. Strategic decluttering. Nothing she would notice missing, but plenty of things she would definitely see me carrying out the door if she was home. I feel this with a passion. She has no clue it exists and lives every day without it. Go to throw it away, and all of a sudden she needs it and has been saving it and has all these plans for it and it's so important. Three months later, throw it away without her seeing. It's been five years and she's never known. I turn the heat down. Up for me. I put the toilet paper rolls on the correct way. When my husband was out of town I found I liked using one side of the bed. When I got overheated I could always have a cool side to roll into. I don't do all the weekly cleaning that she likes me to help with on the weekend. The day before she comes back I hire a maid service to clean everything. I sometimes leave lights on or doors open and get away with it. My cooking. I eat what I like without consideration of my SOS tastes. This means spicy foods, like spicy ramen. Or maybe you'll pick up or make sushi. I'm am very happy to eat foods without meat. Something incredibly simple I like to have is a baked sweet potato with a little butter, salt, and pepper. I have a strange one. I clean when he's gone. Don't get me wrong I clean when he's here, but his work schedule is never consistent. When he's here, I either wait until he wakes up, or clean an area of the house that isn't near his office. When he's gone, I clean where I want, how I want and how loudly I want. When I'm done cleaning, I take a shower, change the bedsheets, and then bask in my clean empire. It's amazing. Poop with the door open. Probably something like leaving the ironing board set up. Move the gym equipment into the living room. Television into the bedroom. Computer desk into the bathroom. Make huge plans for all the stuff I'm going to do, then don't get any of it done. Extra large pizza which I will eat for a few days, make chocolate chip cookies, turn off every light, she loves lights being on all the time, and reset the AC to not be so fucking cold. I sleep diagonal. The masturbatorium is open. I'm understanding that our partners are the only thing keeping most of us pretending we're civilized humans. My wife has been out of town for 24 hours and the kitchen is destroyed. I was facetiming with our daughter and she said wait, why are you drinking out of a solo cup? Are there no clean dishes? LOL busted. Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.